Flat Cap Chef, and I'm now going to show you how to do uh, really nice honey roasted or honey fried uh, carrots with some thyme. So let's get down to the pan and the chopping board. So we have uh, a carrot. Remember, uh, it doesn't matter if it's got these black bits on the outside of a carrot, that's fine, because uh, it won't affect underneath. So I'll quickly peel the carrot. There we go, black bits gone. Really quick and easy, all the way round. That's like peeled, move that out of the way. Sharp knife to take the end off, take that end off. In this case, I'm going to halve this. And then we take a little slice off, because this is not going to sit very well. So fingers out of the way, take a slice off. Now it's going to sit. Okay, now I'm going to do these two different ways. Remember, it's Thumb behind, fingers rolled underneath, about one to two, three millimeters thick. With the bridge now, we have our slices. Or alternatively, you can do the same sort of thing. So we take a slice off, then do the base. And if you want to do, ooh, if you want to do little battens, fingers out of the way, or roughly the same size. Go. And that's the carrots prepared. Now you're going to take these carrots, pop them into a pan with a little bit of salt and bring it to the boil. The boil for no more than four to five minutes. You just want to soften them down a little bit, okay? So we just want to soften them down before we put them into this pan. So we have this pan here. Um, I'm going to put some butter, just a and I said a little bit more than that. And then a little bit of oil. You can use some flour, you can use vegetable. And pop the heat on. And we're just going to get this to heat through. And what we'll find is that this butter will foam up and make a lovely bubbly noise. A little bit more oil in there, not quite cover the base of the pan. And the other ingredients I'm going to play here is uh, a simple squeezy honey, very easy to use, and then some some thyme, dried thyme. I don't have fresh. So here we go. Here goes the bubbling. So I'll be quiet. Foaming butter. Once that quiets down a little, which it's now doing, that tells me it's around the right temperature, and the foaming's died down. I'll take my drained carrots. Pop them in there. Move them around so it's just got all separated out. And this will only take a couple of minutes. Now I'm going to sprinkle some thyme, give it a little bit of flavour. There we go, move it around. See how quickly. The colour starts to change on these. You can see they're now starting to get this slightly browned edge. So this is really quick to do. Now I'm just going to add some honey, just a squirt of honey, a bit more foaming. That will give it some lovely sweetness. We need a fork to move it around. Oh, we can smell the warmed up honey, which is just smells fantastic. There we go. You can see that the colour is changing. It's pulling off my fork. We're starting to get this tinge of colour around the outside now, which is what we want. Really quick to do. Delicious. And the batons are done. There we go. And that pop that over again. There we go. You can see that is now done. So that is carrots with honey and fresh thyme. Sorted.